o sha mo venza ni white e o lo gbe mo 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 eni o ki sha yo mi de o aduke loruko mi wrong number lo pe o tu ko ba tu pe number ni ma gbe e se pe ni hi everyone thank you so much for joining me my name is chacha wabara and um, thank you so much for being here to my returning subscribers thank you so much for keeping it real with me and if you're new here thank you so much um for coming here and i hope you stick around long enough to subscribe long enough to like it to enjoy my content to subscribe and you know be a member of this tribe yeah so today we'll be reviewing um a nigerian movie the yoruba movie subtitled in english um, um titled um deja vu something vaguely familiar about her this she said hey i've been on with me what's wrong with that mommy i was upstairs i saw you guys reaction that is fine ah leave it to ba se pe lu to ala gbe lo ma be o pe o tun ja wa ni anyway money king pe e ki won ona ni pe ko ya fi oko mi sile tori to ba fi sile nkan to wa yen wa ri um when i saw the you know the actors in this movie um i'm not really too much of a fan of um lati from ade jimeji ade dimeji i'm not really he a huge fan but i know he, he has um good work he's done good work but do you know what you're saying okay dna testing yeah is it fake ah so i was curious especially when i now saw yemi black so i was like well with yemi black there we can't go too wrong um it ha it has other actors and actresses like um bimpe oyebade and omotunde adebowale david um its director is elijah tolutope originator mm. um yeah uh, i had to i saw this movie into like 20 minutes and i didn't get the movie at all then i had to like you know rewind it back after a few days and just like just take my time to see this movie and understand it there's one thing about yoruba movies they actually teach a lot in life you know factual happenings you know and I, I'm, I'm shocked it's on netflix because most times you just find them on yoruba african magic or something um i'm glad that um it's um beginning to find yoruba movies are beginning to find themselves in um you know on netflix you know um they should a lot of them should find themselves into the streaming uh platforms because they are really good and factual and have a lot of substance and like some basic nollywood movies that you will see around but this um deja vu uh, was a bit too complex for me to understand um it, it, i think um during uh, i think a husband found out that his um two his children with his wife were not his meanwhile the wife w never cheated on him and um she was just as confused as he, he as he was and he accused her of cheating and um not being true to the marriage vows so they you know she went around her in-laws you know condemned her she was you know begging and appealing for a reason yeah she was appealing for a reason so um of course if you watch nollywood movies not nollywood <coughs> If you watch Yoruba movies, you know that definitely they must go and consult something. They must go and, you know, consult the services of a native doctor or a seer or a witch doctor or whatever to find out what the issue is, you know. And um, they did and um, they had explanations for it that she was sleepwalking and he too was sleepwalking. You know, um, this is going to be a short review. The whole thing actually threw me you know it just um, became a bit too like i lacked understanding if there's anyone who can explain this movie to me please do because if you're saying that um, one person was sleepwalking and she found her way in someone else's house yeah and then he too was sleepwalking his own too and found <laughs> his own way to his living room and just sleeping with somebody meanwhile this 
gets man and all that. And then they're not saying, oh no, it happened in the spiritual. And then it happened in the spiritual and then she's not giving birth to his children. It didn't make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, every time she would want to, she gets pregnant, she would first sleep walk to that particular man. What, what brought them together? What was the attraction in the spiritual? You know, if you want to go all spiritual, then you better make sure that you are, you know, you are taking care of every tiny detail. You don't just say something and leave the audience more confused than when they were, than, you know, before they started watching the movie. It, it, it didn't resonate with me. It, it wasn't my typical Yoruba movie that I would be like, you know, they really went deep and deep and, they, you know, we got what we were looking for out of it. I don't know. I'm just um, getting this. I, I, I don't know. The few uh, movies I've, 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 I've seen, um, Nigerian movies I've seen in, um, in, um, for some time, a couple of Nigerian movies I've seen have not really wowed me like, um, you know, I, I would have expected to be wowed, but that's all right. Um, with the deja vu, um, apart from the explanation that the is it the Ifa or whoever, the native doctor or the witch doctor gave them and the things he did, I didn't really understand it. And that was where I was most interested in. I wanted to understand how she gave birth to another man's child when she, you know, she, yeah, we know that she was sleepwalking, but they didn't really give us that or give me that, um, um, explanation break it down to little tiny details so as to make someone who is a novice or a non-native understand it properly to be able to convey the message like uh, you know in this review so um, it remained um, I, I was dissatisfied after seeing this movie I would I, I, it held that thing that I expect from from um, Yoruba movies but then it didn't wow me, it didn't blow me away. It just left me feeling that, you know what, you guys didn't do your homework properly. Because if you had done your homework properly, some things you would have broken it down, you know, to give us the right thing. But then the actors and the actresses individually did their work. I especially loved the father of Adedimeji and also Yemi Black, the way he would laugh and, you know, take it easy with his wife's um, antics. Uh, she was exceptionally... Um, Possess, she was possessive to a fault and um, she just tended to nag and overreact um, just a little bit. And he would, you know, he was such a patient, understanding, loving man who would just take it and just laugh at his wife's antics, you know. He wouldn't take it to heart. So I found those roles, including the, well, not so much as the wife of um, Ade, Ade Jimechi, Ade Dimechi. Yeah, let me not bite my hair. Yeah. Not so much as the wife of Latif. Um she she was she was based uh, you know, her portrayal of the um of her role was basic at best. Uh but still natural. There was no one that um, had a first um, performance in that movie. Um but like I said, I didn't just get exactly I didn't get what I was looking for exactly. I know they can do better than that. They can do so much better than that. I think the problem was with the plot. The problem was with the breakdown of the plot, not the actors and the actresses in the movie. Um the director did his part, so I would um think that the problem is from the, the story writers and also and also I think the producers and maybe somehow the directors the directors should have, you know, when you are reading the script, you tell them that you see, yeah, we like this, but you have to put some more substance into how we will break this down, or you know how the the actors and the actresses involved in in interpreting these roles will bring this to a desirable end. Desirable end for me is not happy. It's not like oh, I want an happy ending or something. No, I want you know an on a perfect understanding and um, um, alignment of um, my, you know, the projection of the message from the movie to the audience, you know, that's what I'm looking for. I don't see it. I'm not satisfied, from, you know, uh, um, from this movie. They didn't give me that ultimate, that final uh, delivery of the movie and which really did 
sit well with me at all. And this brings me to, you know, the end of the review. The plot was not good, like I said. Uh, in terms of, of sound, the sound was awesome. The lighting was okay, was just okay. Um, yes, and I'll be rating it a 3 over 10 which um, brings me to the end of this uh, movie review. Up there, you see my Korean movie review. You will also see my Chinese movie review, my Nigerian movie review, and then again, my movie reviews. Thank you so much for doing this with me. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit on your subscribe button. Turn up your post notification bell. That's the bell icon. Click on it so that you'll be alerted when new videos come your way. Thank you so much for being my crew my geez you know leave your comment in the comment section i'll be i'll be sure to respond all right okay let's just keep doing this thank you for joining me i'll see you next time bye bye thank you